I'm Bonnie, an engineer on the material design team at Google. This video is for developers of all skill levels, code languages, and frameworks. My examples will all be using material components for the web, but basic principles also apply when building for Android, iOS, and Flutter. I'm going to explain what material components are, how to build a simple form using material components for the web, and where you can go next using material in your own digital product. Material Design is an open source design system created by Google, and it's backed by code that helps teams build high quality digital products faster. Material offers a lot of guidance on how to build a great experience, including information on the usage, the anatomy, design, and customization of different parts of an interface. But how do you implement it all? That's where components come in. Material components are interactive building blocks for creating a user interface, like text fields, buttons, or menus. They are available as open source code for Android, iOS, Flutter, and the web. And that's what we're going to be using today. Let's say you want to build a super simple online form composed of a text field and a button. First, we need to download the components. All MDC web components are available as NPM packages. So in your console, run NPM install for each component that you'd like to use. Then we'll include the specified HTML structure for each component, which you can find in our documentation. So here in our index.html file, we'll add the specified HTML for the favorite food text field, as well as for the eat button. Notice that I added the class food-field to my text field and eat-button to the button, which we'll use later as selectors in the CSS and JavaScript. Next, we'll import the CSS files for each component and add any additional styling that's custom to your app. Here, we've imported the CSS for both button and text field and added some extra styling for padding, width, and margin. If the component uses JavaScript, we'll need to import the component's JavaScript file and instantiate the component. Here, I've imported the MDC text field class and instantiated it on my food-field element. The material button component doesn't require JavaScript unless you want that fancy ink ripple when you click on it. And I do. So I've imported the MDC ripple class and instantiated it on my eat-button element. The last step is to theme our form according to our brand using SAS. SAS is a CSS preprocessor that lets us easily theme our components using global variables, which automatically propagate to all of the material components. And what this means is that if you set a primary color, then all the components that were designed to inherit the primary color will do so automatically without you having to think about it. And that right there is the beauty of material theming. We're going to set three different types of global theme variables for color, typography, and shape. You can read more about these systems and the specific variables in our documentation. Make sure to declare all global theme variables before you import the CSS files for each component. And that's it. Here's the final text field and button with the colors, typography, and shape that we specified. You can check out this code live here at this link. Of course, theming a single text field and single button isn't a big deal, but when you have a full-fledged app with tons of components, then the ability to apply a consistent theme across the entire app becomes really important. I feel like we were just getting started, so here are a few places to go next. Material.io is our central hub containing everything from guidance on basics like layout and typography to the latest UI trends like dark theme. We also have our four GitHub repos where our code and docs live one each for Android, iOS, Flutter, and the web. Also check out our interactive projects and examples on glitch.com slash at material, including one that lets you see and theme all material components. And lastly, check out the interactive material design tutorials at codelabs.developers.google.com. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks, and happy building.